And we are back, and it's good to have you all with us this morning, this foggy morning. So if you're going to be getting in the car and driving, do so carefully. Uh, today, again, we're celebrating Nancy's new neighborhood. The Red Ribbon has moved over onto Inman Street, and I have two of my neighbors with me, Tammy Jensen, who has Sifted Bakery. And if you haven't been there, folks, I'm telling you right now, you are missing it. So quaint, so cute, and so good. And it's just a real temptation. But between Tammy and Nancy is Catch Bar and Grill. So Sherry Lovesy's here with us, and she's going to tell us a little bit about it. Good morning, Sherry. How morning. are you? Good morning. How are you? Sherry's like me. She's not a morning person, so we're both drinking our coffee, and we're going to get there with it. So, first of all, tell them where you're located. Um, we're located at 233 Inman Street East, between, obviously, Nancy and Tammy at Sifted. Um, and we need to come in on Market Street um, behind Inman. Mm -hmm. so. Come around on the new First Street Square, and basically we are across the street from the museum. Kind of not straight across, kind of angled across from the museum. So if you can find the museum, the traffic light at the museum. Parker. Turn on to Parker, and there's a huge sign that says parking. Pull in there and come on. So tell me about, I've eaten there, so I already know about it. I've eaten there more than once, matter of fact. So tell us about Catch Bar and Grill. Um, we are the only seafood restaurant in town. Um, we are a very classy but nice, casual restaurant. Um, we have fresh seafood every day. Um, we get our fish between 18 and 20 hours out of the water. So it's the freshest fish that you can get probably within Chattanooga and Cleveland area. I don't know anybody else that does that in this area. Um, so basically we have somebody out there fishing for us right now for tomorrow morning. Wow. Comes out of the water, they ship it to us. We prep it and prepare it for that next day. So okay. it's premium premium fish. So what kind of fish are we talking about? Um, our menu ranges from um, anything from sea bass, grouper, um, like oysters. Grouper. We have fresh um, oysters come in. Actually, we have a new batch coming in next Thursday. Um, we'll have about 60 pounds, so everybody come in and get fresh oysters. Wow, we prepare them anyway. will be there. Now, how do you prepare the oysters? Um, we can prepare them any way that you like. If you request it a certain way, we'll do our best to accommodate that. Um, you know, we sh um, sell them on the half shell. Um, we sell them fried, um, pretty much any way anybody wants it, we I can like do it. Wow. So, so we, um, we prepare, if somebody has a special dietary need, uh, gluten-free, um, if somebody's on a Atkins diet, whatever it is, we try to prepare it for them. Um, so if you come in and say, hey, I'm on this special diet, I can only eat it this way, we'll do our best to prepare it that way within a timely manner. That is wonderful. I have a friend, I, this is the only one I know of, <laughs> there's probably others, that needs a gluten-free diet and any time that we do any kind of activity where there's food involved we have to be very very careful mm -hmm. and so this is great to know that that catch bar and grill has a gluten-free situation for you people uh, that need that and right. and that's very important right. health-wise to these people now we just had Joe Palo in here of course skinny Joe Palo in here it's talking amazing. about, I mean, it's amazing, 60-something pounds. It's just amazing. But anyway, he was talking about the fact that he wasn't a fish eater. So Sherry's response to that was? Um, we have a variety of things on our menu. We have a great filet. We have chicken. Uh, we just added a couple chicken dishes to our newest menu. So if you haven't been in for a couple weeks, come in and see us. We've changed our menu. Um, we have lobster macaroni and cheese, which we can make chicken macaroni and cheese. We have a great burger. Um, all of our meats are hormone and antibiotic free. I had the so, hamburger a couple weeks ago and it was amazing. Yeah. It's, a, it's a really good burger. So um, We have a variety of things and we have a vegetarian flatbread. We call it crust, flatbread crust, but they're like flatbread pizzas. They're on a, a thin shell. Wow. So um, we have vegetarian items also. And like I said, anybody with dietary needs, it's not really posted on the menu, but you can come in and say, hey, you know, I'm on a all vegetable and we'll make you a vegetable dish. So um, we have a variety of things. Yes, we're a seafood restaurant, but we do and we can cater to anybody's needs and wants. Well, and that's the beauty of what you do because you, you actually prepare the food in-house. It's not shipped in Correct. from somewhere else with Correct. sauces and bags mm -hmm. where you're limited to right. what you receive from corporate. Right. Right. I mean, you have a chef in there and y'all prepare that food 
well, it's all a minute, but it is for the moment. Right. It's to that person right. according to what they have need of, right. which we don't have in Cleveland. Right. I mean, we make every, like she said, everything from scratch. All of our sauces are made daily. All of our, you know, vegetables, fish, meat, it's prepped right there for that day. So. And not to compete with Tammy at the bakery, but they do have desserts. I have not had a dessert there yet, but Don't I have heard. Mine, no, I'm sorry, you can't, you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we need to talk about kits just a little bit. They do have desserts. So. We do have desserts. We and, do have desserts. Uh, but when we provide your desserts as a special, it's even better. Yes, it is. And okay. she's done that a couple times <laughs> for me, and it's amazing. They go over really well. And if somebody's having a special occasion, I have had people, you know, book book at the restaurant and they've like we really want a nice cake or whatever we send them over to Tammy because she's the professional at it we do have some great desserts but you know when I've got a bakery right next door hey, it makes my job a lot easier absolutely I was in Tammy's Tuesday and she had a chocolate chocolate cake I don't know how many layers were in there devil's it, food it, I think it was four layer devil's food with chocolate ganache filling and icing and mm. it had some raspberry something yeah it's, oh. yeah, it's raspberry filling you know, folks, that's just to die for. I mean, it's just it's just really, really good stuff. So, uh, but back to catch now, because the atmosphere is so wonderful in there. You walk in, and and it's just it's very calming, and you have the blue drapes hanging, and all your pictures, not all, but most of your pictures are are art that has to do with the sea mm -hmm. or. It's just really neat in there. It's kind of walking into like a New York bistro in it the is. evening. And, um, or somewhere by the beach and just it's really chill, relaxed. We have live music almost every night, um, usually acoustic. Once in a while we'll have um, a couple Bradley High School students come in, um, Guy and Dahl, and they're 17 and they play a little bit more contemporary but they're still, it's a nice relaxed atmosphere. So, and we use a lot of our, our kids that work for us. Um, they've gone to Lee and um, they play for us. So it, it's really nice. And see, that's another wonderful thing about when, when restaurants um, come into town like Catch, and you all are just down the street from Lee. Mm -hmm. And I know when I was in college, I had to work, mm -hmm. and so this is an opportunity for the, some of the yeah. Lee students to have a job. Right. And uh, waiting tables was not something I did when I was in college because I'm just not really coordinated <laughs> enough to be carrying. And how you all do that, I don't know. But anyway, but it's just a really wonderful atmosphere in there. I enjoy going in and sitting down, and uh, and I, I've gone in in blue jeans. I mean, mm -hmm. you don't have right. to dress up right. to go to catch. And that's the perception people have, um, I guess, got in the area um, is that we're pricey because of our atmosphere and because of the type of things that we have on our menu. But I, um, our menu prices are very, very cheap compared to Chattanooga, Knoxville. So people are driving to Knoxville or Chattanooga to go to dinner at, you know, Bonefish or whatever. Right. And we are cheaper and you don't have to drive. Right. Um, you know, you can get a filet or a sea bass for $21. And so, and see, that's, that's amazing. It that, is. That's a good it price. Is. That quality. And, and what I have tried to stress for years, of course, having been chairman of the board of the chamber, is don't go out of town. Right. Stay here, folks. Right. Let your tax dollar work Right. here in Cleveland and Bradley County and catch is just is wonderful I would not hesitate for a second to recommend in fact when people come into my shop now the first thing I say is have you been to catch right. to eat then I say have you been down to the bakery for a cinnamon roll and then I even steer them CBC billiard because I mean we just got it right. all down there right. in our in our new neighborhood right. and I just love it so catch off it's not just seafood folks so go in and give them a try. It's really, really good. Well, and what's really nice about our area is we have, you know, the bridal shop. Yes. Uh, we have Tammy. We have you. We have Ketch. Um, and is what's really neat is I did a 50th wedding anniversary for my parents on Sunday. And Tammy did the cake, and I got flowers from Bradley Flowers, which... I'm trying to talk to come to our area because oh, we would neat. be, you know, wedding and party central. Yes, and we have a so, spot. Yeah, yes, yeah, we have, we, have an we have a spot. spot. Yeah, so there's, it's there's really, one more spot, folks. It's really nice for that is where we can have the intimate dinners, but we can also do big parties. And on Sundays, um, we're closed. And we do that so our kids can spend time with their families and just have a day to recoup. But we can do parties, and we, you know, just require, uh, you know, 25 people or more. And we can do open parties where they can have the building for the day or the afternoon. 
and it accommodates that. Um, you know, when we were talking about United Way, um, we're really involved with Habitat for Humanity, and um, when the tornadoes hit, my kids, um, one of our, our, well, one of my kids, one of um, my employees, her, she lost her house, and I have the best crew, the best crew. Um, they came out, and we actually did a 200-person shrimp boil for the five-house dedication for Habitat for Humanity. Wow. And um, mm -hmm. my crew, all volunteer, pulled together. We pulled that off amazingly. How neat. Um, and then during the tornadoes, I had a crew. I have about 20 kids, and um, every one of them came out, participated. They worked from 8, 9 o'clock in the morning until 8, 9 o'clock at night with about two breaks. And so we were talking about community pulling together. So a lot of my kids, yes, they go to Lee. They can get their service hours, mm -hmm. make money with us, and give back to the community. And they can put that on their resume. So we're kind of a, you know, very involved in our community and try to give our kids tools that they can use in their future. So And see, um, this is what the community yeah. needs to support. They yeah. need to support yeah. businesses like you that are doing this, that are helping to support the community. Yeah. So what are your hours? What days are you open and what are your hours? We are open Monday through Thursday from 11 to 9 and then Friday and Saturday 11 to 10. We do stay open later if we have a crowd. We'll stay open later if somebody wants to book a party. We actually have a party in October that they're coming in at 9 o'clock and they'll be staying till 3. It's a um, recording company and wow. they're throwing a big... Um, I guess, to draw people into their company or whatever. So we'll be open from nine to three. So we'll do, and that's the benefit of being a privately owned business. We can do anything that our customer needs within reason, right, but within right. the law, you know. Yeah, I know. So, yeah, like um, <laughs> but we, um, we do things like that. So if anybody wants to do a big party, and I'll close down on a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Monday, if, you know, the price is matching mm -hmm. or whatever and close the building down to the public and do a private party. So. Well, I know one Thursday when the farmer's market was down there, I kept seeing all these people mm -hmm. going to catch, and I said to somebody, what's well, Sharon Moore? I said, what in the world is going on? And she said, they're having a private going away party for John Jackson, who was retiring from Mars. Right. And right. you had a whole bunch right. of people. But then what the funny, I mean, it's not really funny, I guess, but the, but the thing about it was you had some people that were coming to eat at Catch that night right. that were having to go somewhere else right. because it was a private right. party. But that's okay. Right. That's I mean, you know, that's the benefits of having a wonderful business like that. Right. And I'm so glad to have it next door to me because now, I mean, where we were before, um, Sometimes I ate at the little restaurant downstairs, but a lot of times Flo and I had to get the car and drive somewhere. Right. Well, now we just go out our door and right. go that way or that way, and, and we're eating, and it's, it's right. wonderful. Well, and that's the great thing. We have an express menu, which we try to get you within yes. 30 minutes out the door. You, you know, and it varies on how many people there, there are in your party, but um, we really try to cater to the courthouse and the attorneys and the business people downtown during lunchtime. Um, so we have a, a smaller menu broken down and they're mm -hmm. all under ten dollars right so um and the you know. fish and chips are really good oh my flavis had those tuesday and i had the shrimp and he shared a piece <laughs> it's my piece of these fish and, oh the fish was wonderful so and, Some and of the i best know i've had and you have soup and salad we do we have uh soup and salad we have po boys we have uh shrimp boil um gosh ahi tuna so, I mean, it's a huge, huge menu. It is, and, so. and the food is good. Of course, I'm a seafood lover, so, uh, so I have no problem with that. I don't, I don't have to have a hamburger, but, but uh, it's so great to have Sherry on with us today. So, folks, that's Catch Bar and Grill, and it is on Inman Street, kind of across from the museum. You come in around the back side at the First Street Square. We have plenty of parking back there. And you need to come. And today would be a good day to have lunch at Catch. It would be. And they have a wonderful lunch menu. So we're going to have to take a little commercial break, and we'll be right back. But we thank Sherry for being on thank with you. us today. And so please go by Catch and have a wonderful meal. I promise you it will be wonderful. Very relaxing, very casual. Atmosphere is wonderful. And we have specialty fish, too, like mako shark and red snapper. So. Oh, I love snapper. Okay, didn't realize that. I need to look at that menu a little bit more closely. Well, it, it's special. We post them oh. on Facebook and on our board. So you, you kind of have to do Facebook or give us a call and see what our weekend specials are. So join us if... Uh, Very good. And to call. They would call. Yes, absolutely. 
What, what's the number? 423-790-1235. Uh, 1235. Yes, ma'am. Okay, very good. Folks, we'll be right back. We're going to take a little commercial break. And if she could get in the parking lot, Sharon Marr is here with us. If not, we'll continue talking. I'm Dr. James Markham, host of the television program Heart of Health, seen right here on WTNB Television. Thursday at 7 o'clock, Friday at 8 a.m., or Sunday at 3.30 p.m. I'm Wes Robbins with Landmark Insurance Brokerage. When it comes to employee benefits, we've got you covered. Call me today for the best service and best solutions to your group health and employee benefits needs. At Landmark Insurance Brokerage, we've got you covered. How would you like to look and feel better? If so, then visit the Ford Center for Anti-Aging, located at 2020 Key Street Northwest. Dr. Ford has been serving Cleveland and the surrounding area since 1984. He is a licensed physician with the Board of Anti-Aging Medicine, offering affordable Botox injections. Botox is a medication that is used to treat dynamic wrinkles such as crow's feet, forehead lines, and frown lines. In addition to Botox therapy, rejuvenate and smooth wrinkled skin. The micro laser peel treats skin conditions associated with aging and active lifestyles. If you're looking for safe and affordable anti-aging treatment, call the Ford Center for Anti-Aging at 423-614-0535, located at 2020 Key Street Northwest. Hello, I'm Pastor Greg Casto with United Christian Church here in Cleveland, Tennessee. Do I have some exciting news for you? On September the 25th, right here in Cleveland, Tennessee, the mighty Kingsman Quartet from Asheville, North Carolina is going to be here in concert. That's on Sunday night at 6 o'clock, September the 25th, right here on at 2200 Peerless Road here in Cleveland, Tennessee. I want you to be here and be a part of this great concert. Kyle Dodge Chrysler Jeep, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland, is your number one Dodge Chrysler and Jeep dealer in this area. Stop by and see the brand new 2011 Chrysler 200. The 200 is essentially a new nameplate with a significant facelift to the outgoing 2010 Chrysler Sebring, a beautiful vehicle at an unbeatable price. And while you're there, check out the all new Jeep Grand Cherokee and the newly designed Dodge Durango, redesigned, revamped, and reinvigorated. Yes, the Dodge Dodge Durango is back, bigger and better than ever. Kyle Dodge Chrysler Jeep offers a complete parts and service department with qualified service technicians to fix and repair your vehicle. So for your next brand new or pre-owned vehicle, make it Kyle Dodge Chrysler Jeep, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland. And we're back with you and Sharon Marr, Main Street Cleveland, is with us and she was able to get in the parking lot somehow. So Sharon, great to have you with us. And I know Sharon's not a morning person either, so, <laughs> so we're all just kind of struggling. Now Tammy, Miss Energizer Bunny, uh, just needs about two hours sleep, so she does really well. But Sharon is our Main Street director and first of all, Sharon, tell everybody what Main Street is. Well, thank you for having me, Nancy. It's good thank to be you here for this being morning, here. even though I'm not usually up. I'm certainly not usually up on TV this hour. <laughs> uh, Main Street is a nonprofit downtown revitalization and promotion organization. Um, it has been in business since for 21 years. Miss Emily, my is helper here this in. morning. Yes, Miss okay, Emily is sneaking in. All right. Now uh, uh, it's been in business for. I said in business. She threw me totally off track. I know, I know, <laughs> I know. Uh, it, has, it was organized in 1990, so we just celebrated our 21st anniversary as a Tennessee Main Street community. And a lot of people don't realize that Main Street is a national organization. Right. It's not just here. Um, we work under the Tennessee, Nas uh, Tennessee Main Street program, which is under the national program. There are 24 Main Street communities in Tennessee. So we're glad to be one of those Absolutely. and one of the first six Only 24. Main Streets. Yeah, we're so, one of them. Yeah. Mm. So we go through a reaccreditation process each year to make sure that we're meeting the standards at the four Main Streets. So we're just not a fly-by-night, folks. Main Street has to meet certain qualifications 
and regulations to be a Main Street organization and then for us to be a Main Street community. Yes. And that is wonderful. And Main Street does so many things. Now, first of all, everybody in Nancy's new neighborhood, I think, is a member of Main Street. Yes. Well, if we weren't, you would write the check for us. You and... probably, <laughs> I would encourage you yeah. to do so, yes. <laughs> but, uh, but Main Street has been vital in our First Street Square, which oh. is right there where we are. So explain yes. that just a little bit. Well, it was, you know, the, the, in 2004, a master plan was developed, and, you know, Nancy, we were probably on the board when that I happened. Mm -hmm. Nancy's been involved in Main Street for many, many years, uh, involved in hiring me six years Absolutely. ago, exactly, almost. <laughs> um, but it was in the master plan to do uh, four major projects, a lot of projects, but four really major projects. And the first was the Courthouse Plaza, and that was done in 2005. So the next phase was the First Street Square. And we started that in 2008, and that was the purchasing that property, tearing down that old dry cleaning building, mm -hmm. and going, getting that process rolling. So 2008, we started and partnered with the city of Cleveland, which was instrumental. Obviously, we couldn't have done a oh, project of that magnitude right. without Absolutely. the city's help. Uh, we raised private funds, and the city matched the money that we raised to do that project. So it was... Um, just a great thing. And your goal is always to increase business, make, grow businesses. That's what we want to happen. But it's wonderful to actually, when it actually works. You know, it's it really wonderful is. when it does. And, uh, of course, we talked about the farmer's market that's been there on Thursdays. And uh, that was that was so nice. Now, that's, that's over now because nobody's garden is producing, still producing around here locally. But um, I was out there one day, and there are big medallions out on the sidewalk that list the supporters and the sponsors that the private uh, entities that mm -hmm. contributed to the First Street Square there. And it's just, it's, it's wonderful what's out there. We've it got is. a little park, we've got a, a small stage, and a lot of things can happen out there. Absolutely, and more and more things will happen. You know, we just officially opened uh, July of 10. Right. Ribbon was cut a year ago, just over a year, and so a lot of things have happened. We had 18 farmers markets. We've had two art shows, um, did com lunchtime concerts the month of April. So and a lot of things are so going neat. on. Yeah, it was fun to go out there. Beautiful weather mm -hmm. for the most part. We had one kind of rainy day, yeah. but uh, otherwise beautiful weather, and it was a great, fun experience. And where the park is, there's parking all around it, which helps those of us that have our businesses there now. Mm -hmm. And uh, and that's worked just, I think, just wonderfully. I'm, I'm just so excited to be over there. Now, there's banners hanging all over downtown. And tell me a little bit about those. Uh, well, the banner program started, I guess, in probably 2005, I guess. Um, but the banners are, it gives downtown a sense of place. That's their purpose. Uh, we have three different types of banners who hang that hang. Um, we have three seasons, March through June, which is the down the purple, think downtown first. Mm -hmm. I think they're um, up right now. Yes, March through September. I'm sorry, I said through June. In October, we have the special Halloween block party banners. And then November through February, we have the Christmas and winter banners. Uh, and those can have sponsors. Each, each banner has a, a tag on the bottom mm -hmm. that you can put your name on. It's $150 per season. So it's a great, wonderful value for, for the exposure that you get. Tool. Yes. Um, we've been recognized nationally for that program. Wow. The company who actually sponsors those banners uses us in their brochures and has pictures of our downtown that goes out all over uh, the nation for the success How of that neat. program. Well, I know Sifton's so. getting a banner. Well, I bet Red Ribbon will have to do one too then. You really need to change the name though. I was thinking Cherry's Blue and we're Blue and if you became the Blue Ribbon, it would be... <laughs> No, not going to happen. Not going to happen. But we have a huge event coming up in October. Share we that do. with us just a little. We do. Um, of course, this Saturday we have the cruise in. We'll start with oh, yeah, that one the first. Oh, yeah, the cruise in. That's the right. The September cruise in. Now, is uh, this their final cruise in or do they have one more one in October? One more in October. Okay. Fourth that Saturday. huge. It is huge. They're finishing their 10th season in October, which is really? amazing. It's 10. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So they, they average around 500 cars if it's good weather they've had as many as, as seven to eight hundred mm -hmm. but almost always a minimum of five hundred it's amazing and they've come from about a three-hour radius at least of, of our community so it's a great event and a live entertainment each time five o'clock on the courthouse stage this time it's the classic times band uh, Joe Sharp is president Bob Anderson is cruising event person they do a great job with that they do a great job <coughs> they really Very do good. Um, they have the Apple Festival October 15th and 16th and information on that is clevelandapplefestival.org and then, of course, the block party, which is the event you were talking about, uh, Halloween night, the 24th block party, which is amazing. That's been that going is on. amazing. And I, and I think I may have worked 
over half of those. But, you know, it's, I got to an age where I said, y'all need to get somebody else to help with this because you're there from, and I know Emily helps you with it, but you're there all day. It, it, you do. You're there probably, it's a good, you know, 12, 13 hours on the street that day, but, um, and I'm feeling it by the end of the day. Yeah, I bet you sure. are. Uh -huh. um, but it's a great event. You know, it's been going on so long. It's, it's a very well-oiled machine now. We have a wonderful a group of volunteers who come out and, and do their parts and Mars Chocolate does Treat Street which is oh. huge. They do an incredible job. They really for do. Us. Give away so much candy on Treat Street. Uh, so that's a, that is wonderful. They also do the costume contest which starts at five, five o'clock on the fun stage at the post office annex. We have wonderful entertainment that starts at five o'clock. Um, two bands, two live bands that go from um, five until ten. And then we have, uh, starting out this year, will be Chilhowee Dance and Performing Arts. Uh, we'll have some dancing for the first probably 45 minutes. And How then we'll neat. start with the bands. So we have wonderful vendors, probably about 40 to 45 vendors lining the courthouse square. Air toys. Um, the vendors are handing out candy, doing all kinds of fun stuff at their booths. We usually have the big um, bungee bounce thing as well. So just a lot of very neat stuff. And kids can come and go through Treat Street, and they can, they can get enough candy and be through for the night if that's what they want to do. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. And it's like Sharon says, Mars Chocolate just does a wonderful job. They bring tractor-trailer loads of candy in down there. Mm -hmm. Plus, their employees volunteer to work the block party, and it's, it's just great. We, yes. we couldn't do the block party, really, with that. Couldn't do it justice. Like, we've been, we're spoiled. We are very spoiled. We're very, very spoiled. Very spoiled. Lars has spoiled us, and, 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 but that's wonderful. So sponsorships for the block party, are those still available? Uh, we can still do sponsorships. Uh, we have a lot of sponsors already, and I'll, I'll read that list because we, we love our sponsors and could oh, not do. do this without the sponsors. We do. And, and many of these come back year after year, and it's just we appreciate them so much for what they do. Of course, Mars Chocolate we've talked about. Pioneer Credit is one of our platinum sponsors. Our gold sponsors is Johnston Coca-Cola, Bradley County Sheriff's Department, and the Cleveland City uh, Police Department. So the, they do a, the, the police and the Sheriff's Department do a wonderful job. They come out and make sure our event is secure and are out there if right. we need anything and just appreciate their work so much. Uh, our silver level is Larry Hill Ford, Brenda Lawson & Associates, Ed Jacobs & Associates, Andrew Johnson Bank, and Waste Connections of Tennessee. And bronze is BB&T Bank, Easy Auto, First Tennessee Bank, H&R Block, Chilhowee Dance and Performing Arts, and Sky Ridge Medical Center. That's great. So It is great that, that many community businesses uh, help support this. Yes. And a lot of these, <coughs> excuse me, are downtown, and so that, that helps. They, you know, anything we can do to get people downtown is just wonderful. So if you're interested, right. give Sharon a call, the phone number at... Main Street. 479-1000. I always can remember the 1000, but it's the prefix 479-1000. <laughs> and Main Street also has memberships available, and you don't necessarily have to be downtown. There is a footprint for Main Street that goes out a little bit further than downtown, so tell them about memberships. Um, actually, you could be a member wherever you are because downtown is everybody's downtown. Absolutely, it's everybody's it is. benefit to improve and grow our downtown. It's as the mayor says, and I'll quote him: "It's the heartbeat of our community, and it, and it truly is." Uh, but our memberships, we have individual memberships at seventy-five dollars a year. Business memberships, one hundred and twenty-five up to two fifty, depending on the number of employees that you have. Corporate memberships are five hundred, and nonprofits are fifty. So a great value. You get a lot for your membership. We have monthly membership luncheons, uh, database advertising opportunities, a lot of things that we can offer for that membership. So nonprofits are just fifty dollars. Yes, that's something to remember, folks. That that's you know you're not going to get much cheaper than that. <laughs> and I know uh, a lot of the people that have booths out for the block party, um, different. It's just different. I think. Kiwanis does a pizza stand and a this. So there's all kinds of things out there. So, you know, if and, and I've seen people my age just go stroll through the block party. Doesn't mean you have to stay. Doesn't mean you have to go down Treat Street. But, <laughs> uh, but you know, it's just, it's kind of a nice little atmosphere to kind of stroll through and look at what's going on. Oh, yeah. Lots of fun. See, ever see lots of people that you know and a lot of fun things to do. And it is just a great evening. And some people come out in costume. And some don't, so that's just that you, you don't have to dress up to come to the block party, but you might want to just come and stroll through and, and see what it's all about. Absolutely. Because it's, it's a really fun event, and it's, it's so wonderful for the children, and it does, 
and like I say, Mars just does a great job helping us with it. So, anything else we need to say about Main Street? Um, Christmas parade's the next thing coming up. So, That's right. Um, it'll be December 3rd. It's always the first Saturday of the month, so Saturday, December 3rd. Um, is Christmas Parade, and the night before that is Carols in the City, which Nancy's always singing in with uh, Broad Street Church. So um, definitely want to be paying attention, watching for that. Absolutely. We'll try to get Sharon back in here before that so that she can tell us early enough that if you want to do a float or anything like that for the Christmas Parade, uh, then you can. So Sharon, thank you so much for coming thank in you. today. Miss Emily, thank you for coming in with her. <laughs> thank you so much. We're going to take a little quick commercial break, and we'll be right back with Byron Winters, one of our sponsors from Landmark Insurance and Brokerage. Don't go away. Hello, I'm Pastor Greg Casto with United Christian Church here in Cleveland, Tennessee. Do I have some exciting news for you? On September the 25th, right here in Cleveland, Tennessee, the mighty Kingsman Quartet from Asheville, North Carolina is going to be here in concert. That's on Sunday night at 6 o'clock, September the 25th, right here on at 2200 Peerless Road here in Cleveland, Tennessee. I want you to be here and be a part of this great concert. I'm Kathy Guy with Landmark Insurance Brokerage. Call us today for all your personal insurance needs. With 28 years in the insurance business, I have the solutions and pricing you are looking for. At Landmark Insurance Brokerage, we've got you covered. Kyle Dodge Chrysler Jeep, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland, is your number one Dodge Chrysler and Jeep dealer in this area. Stop by and see the brand new 2011 Chrysler 200. The 200 is essentially a new nameplate with a significant facelift to the outgoing 2010 Chrysler Sebring, a beautiful vehicle at an unbeatable price. And while you're there, check out the all new Jeep Grand Cherokee and the newly designed Dodge Durango, redesigned, revamped, and reinvigorated. Yes, the Dodge Dodge Durango is back, bigger and better than ever. Kyle Dodge Chrysler Jeep offers a complete parts and service department with qualified service technicians to fix and repair your vehicle. So for your next brand new or pre-owned vehicle, make it Kyle Dodge Chrysler Jeep, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland. I'm Dr. James Markham, host of the television program Heart of Health, seen right here on WTNB Television, Thursday at 7 o'clock, Friday at 8 a.m. or Sunday at 3.30 p.m. How would you like to look and feel better? If so, then visit the Ford Center for Anti-Aging, located at 2020 Key Street Northwest. Dr. Ford has been serving Cleveland and the surrounding area since 1984. He is a licensed physician with the Board of Anti-Aging Medicine, offering affordable Botox injections. Botox is a medication that is used to treat dynamic wrinkles such as crow's feet, forehead lines, and frown lines. In addition to Botox therapy, rejuvenate and smooth wrinkled skin. The micro laser peel treats skin conditions associated with aging and active lifestyles. If you're looking for safe and affordable anti-aging treatment, call the Ford Center for Anti-Aging at 423-614-0535, located at 2020 Key Street Northwest. And we are back, and it's so good to see you all this morning. Tammy Jensen is co-hosting with me. She has Sifted Bakery on Inman Street, and if you haven't been there, shame on you. You need to go. Cinnamon rolls this big that are just wonderful. She was just telling me that she made them last night and let them rise. Has someone stick them in an the oven right now, so they'll be coming out, and they will be warm, and they Seven will be wonderful. 7 o'clock. There might still be a line outside. <laughs> there might be. And then one of our favorite people who's on with us almost every Thursday, unless he's ill, and we're glad he's not ill today, is is Byron Winters from Landmark Insurance and Brokerage. And they're one of our sponsors. In fact, you may have seen Byron in one of those commercials when we go to commercial break. So. Hopefully not. But it might. Hey, you do a good job. You're standing in front of that picture telling what Landmark does. So, uh, anyway, today we're going to talk about homeowner's insurance because we need to talk about homeowner's insurance. We found out during the tornadoes 
that there is a difference in replacement cost and actual cost cash value on your homeowners. And so, first of all, tell us where Landmark's located. Landmark is located across from the YMCA on Stewart Road, the old Coppinger building as a lot of folks that have been here a while might know. Can't miss it actually, going out that way. And now, let's talk about this situation of replacement cost versus actual cash value. Can we back up for just a minute? We can, just, because just, it's, it's, just, your, just, it's your time, you go. Just a minute. A lot of folks, as we know, didn't have insurance or were underinsured. Right. And it's important for all folks watching whether or not they rent, whether they own a mobile home and they own the home and it's paid for, or the bank owns home, no matter what the situation, everyone really needs homeowner's insurance. Absolutely. We won't delve into all the reasons, but there's liability. People can fall and get hurt, sue you, and if you don't have coverage, then you're on your own. That's right, and, and it's not, that's not good. You can lose your home like a lot of folks oh. did during the tornadoes yes. here several months back. And we're actually still having calls come in from folks uh, several weeks ago that, that during the big rain we had that are just now finding out they had more damage than what they thought or they didn't know they had any damage during the storm. Oh my goodness. And their ceilings are caving in and all kind of stuff's happening. So it's important to have insurance. So Absolutely. Re replacement cost versus that. So, so if I had damage and I don't have the right kind of insurance, then I might not get full replacement on whatever that is. You might not get full replacement and there's also situations in which part of your home got destroyed, destroyed, listen to me, destroyed. It's early. Um, not the whole thing maybe, but part of it did. And if you don't have the right type of policy, you may not even get all of that fixed. You may get some help, you know, and you have to come up with the rest of it. And that can be a, a, a situation that you don't want to be in. So actual cash value versus replacement cost is important to know. Replacement cost is what most of us want. Most of us live where we live because we like where we live. Absolutely. And we want it back the way it was, you know, pre-storm, you know, whatever storm that might be. And uh, if you don't have that kind of a policy, you might find yourself with a <clears throat> check in hand and they say, well, you own the land and uh, here's some money, but uh, it won't put the house back that you lived in. And then they find themselves scratching their heads and they say, well, I, I thought I would get it back. And then they go talk to their insurance agent and find out that's not the type of policy they had. Um, how does that happen, that people wind up underinsured or without correct insurance? I, I mean, you're, you're obviously an insurance broker, so I would think that if someone came into your office that they, you would tell them what they need. So how is it that people wind up in these situations? I do tell folks what they need. Mm -hmm. A lot of folks want to rush through the process. Um, they're in a hurry. They have lives. They have jobs. They have things they got to do. And I try to slow them down when I can a little bit and explain to them the differences in coverages. Um, folks come in with auto quotes or home quotes too, and, and they just want you to beat a price a lot of times. And it's not just about beating a price. You want to save money when you can, but you want to make sure you get good coverage. You don't want to sacrifice coverage or get underinsured like you're talking about to save a dollar. So there's, there's many ways that can happen. Um, just a couple. Um, there's at least one carrier um, that I know of in Tennessee and, and in town. Um, who will remain nameless? I won't. I won't call anybody out on television here. That's very kind. Very kind. Um, but historically, they've uh, they've allowed folks to insure their homes for much less than replacement cost. Uh, we have some guidelines with our major carriers. We have to do at least eighty percent. Now, every carrier is a little bit different, but at least eighty percent of the value of the home. And the value isn't what you tell me the value is. The value is what our system tells us the value is based on answers to some questions you give us, square footage and whether or not you have a basement or a garage or a pool and floor coverings and wall coverings. There's so much that goes into that. We value the home, come up with a replacement cost value based on what our system says in today's economy it would take to put your home back the way it sits now or the way you tell us it sits. And then we can only go down to 80% of that. Now some carriers have gone down to 50 and 60%. Mm. And it, it's, um, it wasn't maybe always the carrier. It, it, it might have been the client that said, well, I, I didn't pay 100000 for this house. I only paid 50000 and they thought sixty sounded great. It was 10 yeah, more than what they... Yeah, rebuild it now. <coughs> right. And so maybe that was uh, the grandfather, the father of the guy that now owns it, or the family that now owns it, and they inherited it. It's been paid for, and they didn't bother checking. They just thought 60000 would would do it. And then the tornadoes came through and, and took their home from them, and they and wondered why they didn't now. get it back. So... Now, let me ask you this, I, being insured with you, I mean, you know the value of, of where I am and 
but do I need to upgrade that every so many years to be sure that my replacement value increases or do you automatically increase that or how does that work? Because my house, because of where it is, will only, I think, go up in value. So, I mean, not that my house is anything great, but my location is. My lot may be worth more than my house eventually because I'm on the water. But do, do you automatically upgrade this for your clients or is this something that we have to go through and how do, how do we do that? There's several answers to that question. Okay, the good. The first answer is the typical carrier, and I'll get to your carrier here in a minute. The typical carrier, yes, they're going to increase the value with inflation a little bit. Um, it may go up $1,500 a year, it may go up two or $3,000 a year in, in, in the coverage amount that they give you. And your premium won't go up terribly, um, but, it, but it may increase. And as a general rule, insurance does go up over time. Now the carrier that you have is a guarantee, offers you a guaranteed replacement cost policy. You're with Erie Insurance and Erie's a fantastic carrier. I won't say they're the best, but we like them and, and they're, they're great. And uh, the only care that I know of, and I've talked to, my mom's been in insurance for 33 years and she's never heard of this before. So when I told her about what, what you have, what I have on my house with Erie, um, she was floored, but it's a guaranteed replacement cost. It's not just replacement cost. And it's not, uh, most carriers will give you maybe 25 or 30% more than what you're insured for before they tap out and say, hey, no more. Erie, there is no limit. So I can't say that this year your house uh, is, is valued for more than it was last year or next year it will be, but what you can rest assured in is that Erie is going to put your home back, Nancy, no matter what. It's a guaranteed replacement cost. That value is just almost kind of an arbitrary value because they're going to put your house back. And see, that's a real comfort zone, especially after seeing what happened April 27th. And so many people, and, and Byron's on with me, like I say, every Thursday, and, and co-hosts have said, leaving here, they've said, I'm calling my insurance agent to be sure that I have what Byron was just talking about. And that's something people need to check about, isn't it? It is. It's certainly, um, you want to make sure you know what you've got and don't just take it for granted. Before I got into insurance, you know, I, I remember sitting down, I, I could, the lady was a very nice lady at First Tennessee. We sat down and she got us a great loan and we left and uh, we'd given her the name of our insurance agent at that time. I wasn't in insurance and we were insured. I didn't know anything about it. All, all I knew was that she called my agent. It was the right value according to the bank and off to the races we were. Mm -hmm. When I got an insurance and looked at my policy with a great carrier I was with, I thought, eh, that's not quite enough coverage and I changed some things around and now I'm where I need to be, but it shouldn't take getting an insurance to know that. You should, you should have confidence in what your policy and what you have and talk to your agent and make sure that it is what it needs to be. Well, you had said that you know, the, the insurance company themselves will increase that, that value over time. Um, but is it a good idea occasionally every few years maybe to have your house re come meet with your agent, reevaluate? It certainly can't hurt. Well, because if property values increase, you need to make sure that your insurance coverage is increasing also, would you not? And, yeah, and I've also seen some values that, that clients came in and they had a replacement cost policy, but, but the value on the policy didn't, wasn't, wasn't what my value said it should be. It might have been ten or fifteen or twenty thousand dollars shy. You know, so there's several things that can happen in those situations. It could just be it wasn't valued correctly uh, to begin with. <clears throat> there's also some things if you add on to your home and you don't tell your agent mm. they're insuring what you were before you right. know you put this addition mm -hmm. I thought this one two, a day or two ago had literally doubled the size of their mobile home and the agent didn't know it so they were underinsured not not to the agents you know it wasn't the agent's fault the, the client didn't tell them they had added on so we've got them straightened away now wow. and uh, the value is what it what it needs to be and uh, they can sleep safely at, at night now and, and soundly. So yes, it's... We're about to wind up today, but Byron, tell everybody how they can get in touch with you. Two ways, Nancy, okay. only two. Only two. Phone number is 478-3872, and our web address is www.landmark, I for insurance, B for brokerage, landmarkib.com. Or you might see Byron or Wes around town at a Main Street meeting or a Chamber of Commerce meeting go up to them and just say, hey, I'm interested in insurance, and you'll set it up. Okay, I'm getting the voice from the mountain says, say bye, so say bye.
Thanks so much. Tammy from Sifted, it's been great having you with us today. And Byron from Landmark Insurance and Brokerage. Y'all have a great day and I'll be back with you next Thursday for some more community events.